This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? When you look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. What a body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He is all about that left kick to the body. Right hand on point. 
He has a commitment to keep it tonight, and it shows. The right hook to the body. The came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Real sneaky body kick. That's a big strike right there. Big power shot there. Look at him drive his shins and some his bodies with that body kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Five knees to the body. Single collar tie there. In the tie clinch. Look for the knees to start. Oh! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Just over two minutes, round one. Come on, buddy. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. With conviction to the body. some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Spinning back fist is there. Oh, huge block! Big hit kick. Beautiful body kick. Right up the elbow, body kick lands. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. 15 seconds oh. remain in the round. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, 
goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Steve Mills. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Game of inches right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Ooh, blocks the shot. with a right. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Here. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. And he landed the right hand there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Just misses there with the left. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whip his hip into that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where to land strike. Big body kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. Deep breath. Relax. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, what a punch. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big kick lands. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice strike. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Superman punch lands! Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. The one-two punch is true. Nice straight punch. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Big kick land. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of... Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Massive head kick. with a right. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Blocks the shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice punch there. 20 seconds left. Slips the punch. Block that kick to the body. 
body he lands right under the elbow. That's three oh, rounds in the can. Up. We're headed to the championship round. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to shoot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Leg kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Misses with that punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch man over the top. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at the turn in that kick. He blocks the shot. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Trying to establish that jab once again. Great punch landed with so much power. Big and kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Just misses with the left hook. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Tried to... This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with him. He thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice punch, Lance. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Big kick, Lance. Nice job by him there as he continues to keep his opponent to the outside. He told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, I have to control the center of the octagon. So far, so good. Oh, he's doing a great job. His opponent back is always facing the cage. He's always the one in the center. Whether it's in the clinch, whether it's in the middle of the octagon, he is the one always leading the dance. Opponent goes right, he just takes a big step right. Opponent goes left, he takes a big step left. Never gives him an out as he's trying to escape. Lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough kick to even be on his feet right now. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. And
and he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Still nice body kick lands. Blocks the shot. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Big head kick land. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, that's the end of the round. That is not the end of the bleeding, as you see the cut on the bridge of the nose, and that thing is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. The cut man is going to give that some attention, but that's not an ideal location either. That blood is getting into the mouth. Ugly stuff for him to deal with here. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for fast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Nice body. Clip with the right hand. That was a thudding leg kick. Come on, come on. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, going to the head kick. Now it's there. Big punch lands in the middle. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of you those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. There's no give on that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. It's a beautiful fast push jab with meaning. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice one, two there. Beautiful kick. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Under three minutes to decide this one. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times for the face. Big punch land. Ooh. Donnie lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Oh, and he caught the kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Now a knee to the body. Beautiful body kick. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice. And now he lands a combination. Oh, that's a good right hand. 
All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Good punch, Lance. Big body kick, Lance. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Who oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Lands with the right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. You got to check these low leg kicks. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The final horn sounds. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ida. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.